What's new crew and welcome back to my channel today I'm bringing you guys along for three super easy chicken crock pot meals Simple ingredients simple recipes. So grab your chicken grab your crock pot and let's go I took three chicken breasts and just cut them up mine are still about half frozen doesn't really matter I'm going to throw them in cornstarch just a little bit of salt and pepper and I have a little bit of oil going on the stove and we're basically just gonna bread these a little bit give them a quick light fry only two three minutes on each side just till they're brown and then we're gonna throw them in the crock pot in with our orange sauce and get these going in the crock pot once they're breaded and f slightly browned they only take about three hours in the crock pot to finish off simmering in that sauce if you have to do these in a couple batches it's totally fine I'm definitely gonna have to but I'm gonna get these over my oil going here here we go I got my chicken browned and put in here my second batch went a lot better than my first batch I think just a little bit of a learning curve for me I don't fry foods like hardly ever so I'm really out of touch I've only done it probably three times in my entire life so I don't know how well this is gonna turn out I'm honestly really nervous about it because my breading is falling off all over the place so it might not be like the best thing but what the recipe wants me to do is dump in my sauce now and then put it on low for two hours but I think what I'm gonna do is just put it on low with just my chicken in here I'm gonna trust my instincts and just kind of let it do its thing for a little bit just with the chicken to finish letting that cook off I feel like if I dump my sauce in right now with how shoddy my breading is it's just gonna fall off and fall apart so I'm gonna do what I think is best for my situation however I will link down below the actual recipe or the actual blog that I got this recipe from but I'm gonna let that go and I am also just going to dump in this orange sauce from Aldi however the recipe that I'm linking down below has a sauce that you can make basically just with pantry staples it's like orange marmalade some soy sauce and a couple other things uh, just I think everything you should have in your pantry minus the orange marmalade but I'm using this just to make my life a smidge bit easier. So low for two hours. If you're following the recipe, right now is when they want you to dump in all of the sauces that make the orange sauce. So I would, if you're following the recipe, do that now. If not, we're gonna let this go and I think I'm gonna dump this in probably like 20 minutes before I serve. Probably when I start making the rice and broccoli and stuff to go along with this. I dumped this whole bottle in and mix it up just with a rubber spatula it's said to be careful not to be super aggressive when you stir it probably so the breading doesn't fall off but uh, this whole bottle I put in there and it works really well I was hoping I could get two meals out of this it's okay that I'm not going to but it smells really good which makes me excited and I'm regaining hope in my orange chicken and result for our, our orange chicken uh, we paired it with some pot stickers rice uh, green beans and wax beans that we got out of the garden and the breading of the chicken didn't really matter after I put the sauce in it looks good it looks good it smells good I'm going to try it and let you guys know how we feel about it when we're talking about the orange chicken recipe I 100% will be making this again however I don't think I'm gonna be breading it and frying it I no one in my house really liked the breading it wasn't that the breading was bad or the recipe we followed was bad it's that none of us really enjoy fried foods so most of us ended up just like peeling the breading off and eating the chicken so I'm not saying the recipe was bad I would still recommend the recipe it's just for our personal taste we didn't enjoy that but I liked the orange sauce it was really good and I would rate this probably like a 6 out of 10 I shredded out my chicken here in the crock pot just with this I'm also about to throw in a cup of rice and I'm going to dump in some cheese here this is just what I have in my fridge right now so I'm going to first use up the rest of this mild cheddar and then I'm going to finish it off with Colby Jack and then throw in some taco seasoning if you wanted to you could just do Mexican style cheese or taco cheese that would work just as well but this is just what I happen to have in my fridge that kind of needs to be used up next but the more cheese the better in my humble opinion if you wanted to you could definitely do do these with beef you could do it with turkey really kind of whatever you wanted and then you could add black beans corn really whatever you want I love recipes like that where it's just you can really just add whatever you wanted you could also add in some cream cheese if you had some of that that you needed to use up 
this is a good kind of empty out the fridge dish, which I really enjoy. I'm cooking my rice. I thought I had leftover rice. I guess I don't. So I'm going to cook up just a cup of rice here and throw that in as well. And then we're going to stuff them into your taco shells and bake them in the oven. I usually do 350 for about 10 or 15 minutes. It really does not take that long at all. You could definitely do hard shell or soft shell tacos. Tonight, I think I'm doing hard shell. That's what I have up here right now. All of my soft shell tacos, uh, taco shells are still frozen. So I didn't pull any out today, I just kind of forgot. We're gonna do hard shell, it's really good. And then we just top ours with regular taco toppings. Would that be sour cream, salsa, lettuce, tomatoes, and they're really, really good. I have my taco shells laid out here. My stuffing is here. The stuffing is just, as a quick recap here, one cup rice. I also have two chicken breasts in here. I would say about two cups of cheese and a taco seasoning packet. It's really, really simple, but it's really, really delicious. And those are my favorite kind of meals, especially in the crock pot. Just to throw a couple ingredients in there and call it good. I did cook my rice on the stove. There are ways you can cook it in your crock pot, but every time I've tried, I don't like the way the consistency of the rice comes out. Same thing with noodles. I just don't, we just don't like it. I don't know. For me, they tend to come out overcooked and gummy every single time. That might be a me thing, I don't know. But this is how we like them. The trick with these seems to be once you pull them out of the oven, you gotta give them time to cool off and kind of stiffen up. What tends to happen, at least a couple times I've made these, is the shell will get really soft and not soggy, but I don't even know how else to describe it, so I'm gonna say soggy. If you give them a minute, they kind of like re-stiffen back up as they cool down a little bit. They'll still be hot, but they're not like piping hot, you know what I mean? And they stiffen back up and they get really crunchy and delicious. So I'm gonna let these cool for a couple minutes, kind of re-stiffen back up, let the shell kind of just, and they are delicious that way. I'll show you guys my plate once I'm done, because I think I'm the only one that stacks these things with all of the fixings. This is my finished taco. It doesn't look pretty, but they're delicious. Lettuce, sour cream, extra cheese, salsa, and I've got some whole tomatoes, like fresh tomatoes in here as well, but these are delicious. These chicken tacos are 100% a go-to. You guys see me mention these in my meal plans all the time. When I'm talking about baked tacos, that's what we're making. It's delicious, everybody loves it, especially because way easier for the kids to eat the baked tacos than it is any other form of taco because everything's kind of stuffed in there, it's not going anywhere, so my kids really enjoy it and 10 out of 10, love this meal. Today we're making fajitas. I'm gonna show you how I do it my way. A couple chicken breasts, you can do thighs, whatever you want. I cut up a half of an orange bell pepper, half of a red bell pepper, and about a fourth of an onion that I just had in the fridge and needed to use up. Obviously, you could do more or less. I also sometimes like to throw in mushrooms in this. But today, I'm just gonna do the onions and bell peppers. Now, instead of using a one of those packets of fajita mix, I like to dump in just a little bit of salsa of your choice. This one's from Aldi. This kind of seasons the chicken and it gives it moisture. It keeps the chicken from kind of getting stiff or dried out or whatever. But it also acts as like a marinade. And I'm just gonna turn this on low and let this go for about four hours. It's chicken, so it does not take that long. If you wanted to, you could also throw in a little bit of cream cheese. I might do that at the end, but like I said, totally optional. This is all I do for my fajitas. Put the top on, let it go for four hours, five hours, six hours. I tend to always start my crock pot meals early and then if they're done, I'll just turn them on, like keep warm until dinner time. That way I know that they're actually done, but let's pop these babies in. So it was a really loud night, the night I made the chicken fajitas. I only got a couple clips of the fajitas because it was a crazy night, but another go-to for us, we love chicken fajitas. I love just dumping in the salsa instead of doing a packet. You don't need a lot of salsa either, just a little bit, and it is just fantastic. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I will link down below my recipe playlist, my crock pot playlist, whatever you feel like watching. 
I will link some of those videos down below for you guys. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss Vlogmas. And of course, I will see you tomorrow for another video. Bye.